Shalom everyone, welcome back. Today I have a delicious recipe waiting for you. Today we're going to be making What you're going to need to start out with is a food processor. If you don't have one, that's okay. I'll speak about this a little bit later. You're going to also need one stick of cold butter. That means put the butter in the freezer before using this. You're going to also need two cups of bread flour. Now, at first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just the half a stick of this butter. All right. And just like I said, I'm going to talk about it. If you are going to do this by hand, it is very possible. It'll just take a little longer. OK, also, you're going to need to reserve two cups of vegetable oil to the side for your frying. And you're going to need one half cup of whole milk. I'm going to show you that following step shortly. Just keep watching. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to take that flour and that cold butter that we've put into the food processor, and we're just going to give it a quick pulse. What we are looking for is a crumble like texture. OK. After I've given it a couple of pulses, I'm going to add in a pinch of Himalayan sea salt. Can you substitute the Himalayan sea salt? Absolutely. Just make sure that whatever salt you use, you just use a pinch of it. This is going to accentuate the flavors of the bread. Once you've added your pinch of salt, you're now going to add the remaining half a stick of that cold butter. OK. And what we're going to do is same thing. Give this a quick pulse. And once you've given it a quick pulse, it should look like this. Now I'm going to be pointing straight to the flour. This is what you want to see. You want to see that little crumbles within the flour. If you reach that capacity, guess what? You're doing a great job. OK, and if you do this by hand, just go ahead and just mix the flour with your hands until the crumble has formed. Now, once that is done, you're going to go ahead and close the lid and you can use a regular blender as well. Now, after you close the lid, you're going to go ahead and put this on low. If you have a food processor, it's going to be on low dough. But if you have a regular processor, you're just going to put it on low. A quick tip is we are going to add a little bit of milk at a time. Trust me when I say this, a little bit of milk goes a long way. So I'm going to be showing you the steps of how the dough is going to be formed just by adding a little of that milk. Don't add all of the milk at one time. As you can see, it's starting to get thicker, but it's not the thickness that we want. It's not the dough. So we're going to add a little bit more milk. And as you can see, it's gradually starting to get thicker. Now we're going to add just a little bit more. Now, most likely you will use the entire one half cup of whole milk, but just to be on the safe side, add a little bit at a time, even if you're kneading it by hand. Once your dough has formed, as you can see on the screen, you're going to stop adding the milk. OK. And you're going to cut off your food processor. If you are doing this with a food processor, you're just going to check the consistency of it or the texture. It should represent like a soft kind of dough like texture. If it does, fantastic. If it's a little rough, it's OK. We're going to need it just for about a good minute or two, which you're going to see me do. So you're just going to take the dough out of the food processor. And what you're going to do is you're going to lightly dust this with just a little bit of that bread flour. This prevents the sticking to the countertop. OK, so lightly Dust the countertop as well, too, and go ahead and knead it for a good one to two minutes. That's it. You're going to feel the texture of the dough become more softer at this point. 
trust me. And then once you reach that, you're just going to form it into a ball. Now, this is a quick tip. If you are looking for larger size bread that you're going to fry, you would just divide it into four sections, as you can see me doing on the screen, and then following the additional steps that come after this. But as like myself, I'm feeding a larger family. And just like many of you guys, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this out and then also divide this into additional dough balls. So all I'm doing is forming a ball. Now, while I'm forming the dough balls, I wanted to give you guys a quick tip. This recipe, you are going to love. You are going to enjoy it. Your family, your friends, your husbands, and your kids are going to enjoy this recipe time and time again. Especially if you wanna make this recipe for like a Sabbath breakfast, this is a quick tip. Go ahead and prepare this the day before. Once you see the whole video and follow the entire steps, what you're gonna do is you're going to wrap this in a napkin and put it in the Ziploc bag. And once you put it in the Ziploc bag, you're gonna place it in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, take it out of the fridge and lay it on the counter. And I guarantee you, it is going to taste just as if you made it that day. Just let it come to room temperature. You'll be just fine. Now, back into the recipe. After you've formed your dough balls, you're going to go ahead and get your rolling pin and you're going to make a dislike, kind of like a flour tortilla in a degree, okay? It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. You can even use a tortilla press if you desire to. And I'm just going to roll this out. It doesn't need to be, you know, perfect. Have fun with this recipe, enjoy it. Even get the kids involved in making this as well and then what you're going to do from that point is you're going to make sure that you do it for every single dough ball because let me tell you once you fry the first one this is going to go so fast so make sure you prepare those before you're also going to need some butter on the side as well too because when it comes out of the fryer, you wanna let it sit for a little bit in this towel and the plate that you're gonna need as well too. The towel and the plate is for it to stay warm, you know, while you're going to be frying the other ones. And if you're doing cinnamon and sugar, you're just gonna add one half cup of sugar and then one tablespoon of cinnamon. Mix those together. And this way, you're preparing everything, because like I said, this process right here is gonna go so fast that you wanna have everything prepared on the side, ready to go. So as you can see right here, I'm heating up my oil and just testing it out by just lightly dusting a little bit of flour. And I noticed it was hot. So you want to gently lay your bread right in the frying pan. Once you've done so, do not leave because <laughs> this is gonna go really fast. You're gonna cook it for at least about one to two minutes on each side, okay? And if it fluffs up or puffs up, it's absolutely okay. That means that it's cooking within the inside. You are looking for a light brown consistency or color on top of your bread. Now, I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just one moment. As you can see right here, I have that nice golden brown color. And at that point, what you wanna do is 
look for the golden brown on the other side as well. Once you've seen that, go ahead and remove it from the frying pan and place it on the plate with the towel. Go ahead and cover it. Let it sit there for a second while you place another bread within the fryer. Once you've done so, what you're gonna do is you're going to stick your knife inside the butter and just spread the butter all over this unleavened bread. As you can see, because it is still warm, that butter is going to melt right off of that bread. And that's what you want. You're gonna apply the butter on both sides. And as you can see, I have another bread within that fryer as I'm spreading the butter. And like I said, this process is gonna go fast. So you have to be standing right there, don't move, and make sure that you are watching this bread, okay? I'm pointing at the screen. As you can see, it didn't take me that long to get that color on one side. So once one side has that color, it doesn't take that long for the other side to get that color. Look at that bread. And if you guys could smell my kitchen right now, it smells absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna show you all of it together by spreading the butter. On the bread, on both sides. And once you've done so, I know you guys seen that butter melt. <laughs> once you've done so, look it, it's melting right off my butter knife. Once you've done that, at this point, right after you spread the butter, you want to l lightly dust the cinnamon and sugar right on the bread on both sides, okay? And as you've done so, that's it you're done except for just making the rest of your bread but i hope you guys definitely enjoyed this recipe i hope you guys try this if you do leave me a comment down below letting me know how much you and your family enjoyed this recipe and with that you guys like i always say stay strong stay healthy stay in the spirit and with that i will see you in the next video shalom